you all know the meme random bull go and this deck is that meme brought to life because it's moon knight of course and here's your random bull with helicarrier giving you a bunch of random cards combining that with some other discard tools to disrupt your opponent like silver samurai some other ways to make your own stuff when discarded like swarm or maybe a proxima midnight to cheat into play for free you've got your scalers with collector and morbius benefiting from either random bullshit or those discards and when all that gets fused together i thought this was kind of just a meme to play on the meme but i had an eight and two run with this deck sometimes just big morbius big collector proxima stature incredibly efficient power output across this deck you know you're spending basically no energy for big numbers when you mix in some of that randomness when you mix in just a little bit of generation with you know average size cards just solid tempo plays for your discard stuff it all kind of comes together and works surprisingly well and then sometimes you know moon knight and silver samurai just kill your opponent's deck i discarded like annihilus multiple times ruining people's dreams thanks to moon knight so I was shocked at the run I had with this one. Obviously a super small sample size. Who knows how well this will perform at scale, but I'm curious if all of you have a, a similar sort of run and can piece together some wins with all of the random bull that this deck can offer. Okay, Snowguard, um, do we wait on this one? Definitely has collector upside. We love Morbius left, obviously. It's one of our biggest potential scalers. Okay, Murder World I about played into, thank god. Actually, a pretty good Corvus Glaive on the Morbius, but a Collector would be really dreamy here. We're not going to be able to get a Proxima into Nexus without playing it, so that's that's out. This deck does sometimes kind of lack a big power punch, you know? Like, our, our, our power is sort of scalable over time with Morbius and Collector. Helicarrier kind of can be. Oh my god, Sinister London and Nexus, dude. I don't even know what's happening anymore. So this is an insane amount of cards, and then Corvus will kind of empty them all, which gives us really good support for this, I think. Hopefully the Snowguard goes goes mid, right? Not, uh, not left, because left just occupies with such a small card. Pretty much anything we try to play will be bigger than that. I mean, hopefully, you know, we're playing enough off the Morbius and the Collector that it's okay either way, but, you know, ultimately. But it's gonna have a lot of stuff with Kitty Pride. Kitty doesn't scale, you know, like as crazily as it used to, though, so hopefully it's not as bad. So Corvus dumps everything. It might be kind of cool to get a Hawk to, like, turn off London and surprise them, you know? So this dumps four and gives me plus two energy, so next time we have seven energy. Uh, hopefully this hits like two of these and then a helicarrier or then a swarm, right? So we have like plays to make, you know, stuff to do. I'm thinking a lot. Um, Angela's weird because you, you really want to scale this Angela for Nexus, but you also want to play stuff to London. And as you play stuff to London, you get sometimes less space here. That's not always true with Kitty Pride, but basically Angela is not really the best Nexus card, I would say. Uh, at least particularly in combination with Sinister London. Oh my god, did I lose all four of the the animals? Oh my god, I need to I need to get rid of these. I need to scale these. I need like Moon Knight or Silver Samurai. Please. Please. What do we get? Sif, I guess, would be kind of cool too. So this is like a dilemma, right? Do we do this to draw two and try to make a... Well, no, I mean... I can't really discard enough to make Morbius any good. It kind of makes Collector nice and big, but I have to imagine just playing 10 here is ultimately better, right? Well, it's maybe not if it doesn't go left. I don't know. Man, this was definitely the only really bad draw. I mean, Proxima's kind of bad. Sif, Silver Samurai, Moon Knight were amazing. Gosh, I don't know. I mean, I guess I can play the Helicarrier worst case next turn, right? And just draw two and see what we can do. I mean, I have to imagine, though, the Helicarrier is better as a body, especially if I can force it left, than it is as the Collector Enabler. Collector gains, like, plus six. So I guess that's maybe not true, because Sif is five, and then... 
Collector will be plus six at least. Uh, plus a little Morbius bump as well. So maybe that's not true. Man, opponent's getting big though too. Jeez. These kitties are actually doing more work than I, than I thought they might. You can play Sif and Stature together, which is funny. Samurai and Stature do not get played together. Um, yeah, I mean, surely one of these hits left, right? And then we have plus six off Helicarrier, right? And plus two here. So we're getting plus eight left. And then hopefully a Stature left as well. It's not... There is no world in which this is guaranteed by any means. Um... Oh, actually, plus four again. Sif's going to go off twice, so... I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's see. I think we have a good chance, but by no means is this guaranteed. That's fine. Stature there is pretty good. Worried a little bit about Shang-Chi, of course, always. We we got right into Shang-Chi range, so... You know, that's, I think, a bit unavoidable. Oh, they're, they're fist bumping, so Shang-Chi must have happened. Huh? That's sad. Oh, you play Spider-Woman and Shang-Chi together, though? No, that's just Kitty Pride, right? There's no way. That's not Shang-Chi. Yeah, too much mana. Too much energy. Yeah, nice, dude. It worked. Cool. Man, this is some high-quality stuff. Miss Marvel? Oh, four? That's a good hand, dude. What did, what did Sif discard? Oh, Hulk. Okay. Big boys over here. This was this was a cool game, dude. It was really close. Like, they almost won mid and right. Um, because they had so much power here, right? They just had a lot of natural power. We only had a six point lead, your seven point lead here. So this definitely carried. They almost did the impossible where you win the other two locations of the Nexus. Which is kind of crazy. Wakandan Embassy, sure. Somehow that benefits us more than the opponent, like always. It's just a rule of life. <laughs> it's just always true. Uh Morbius, yeah. Combertage is kind of scary for us. Like, we can get a ton of ramp. The ramp is kind of useful if you discard a Hella Carrier. Otherwise, I would say the ramp is not as good. I wouldn't mind losing a Proxima. I would kind of like to hit a Silver Samurai, to be honest. If we hit the Silver Samurai, it's currently Nico and Sif that get hit. Uh, should I wait a turn? Like, this also could hit Proxima. If it hits Silver Samurai, I'm kind of sad though. But I also just don't want to pass, right? You like passing also feels bad. I'm just gonna snipe this and hit Sif and well, just not Silver Samurai basically. The moral of the story here is just not Silver Samurai. I want to have Silver Samurai for disruption against them basically. As long as you don't hit Silver, that's perfect. That's great. Okay, perfect. So now we'll Silver Samurai Comertage, and we'll lose whatever, we don't care. Oh, that's perfect, even better. Okay, <laughs> now we lose Hella Carrier off the Silver Samurai. Opponent loses two cards, which is really nice. Uh, Hella Carrier gonna give me some cool stuff. Titania gone, that's, I mean, okay, we'll take it. Boop, boop, boop. Oh my god, Loki, dude. <laughs> Dr. Doom gone, which is insane for Comertage. I think this is a C5 Miracle deck, by the way, which they've had to throw out the C part of it because of um, Wakandan Embassy. So, like, also Mir Island, too, of course. Um, I think we can beat still a C5 deck. Um, Loki's pretty good against the C5 deck, I would say. Let's go ahead and play the Ramona. I don't think it actually matters against C5 at all, for the record. Is Goose perhaps more interesting? What do they have? Doctor Doom we already saw is gone. Goose might perchance be more interesting, because our cards are going to be discounted, so we could have slightly more flexibility there. Captain Marvel, okay. Interesting. Um, we didn't hit a Doctor Doom, but we did hit Ant-Man. Stature is very cheap. Okay. Uh, Cerebro is currently a C10 card, which is cool. Uh, will be C11, though, after the Corvus. Oh, the opponent's just out on the Loki, dude. We have layers upon layers of random bull. The opponent actually only had one card in hand. I just noticed that that's definitely the problem. We have 25 crazy cool cards from Loki, and they had one card in hand. That'll do it. That'll do it. Silver Samurai doing work. 
All right, Collector, you're good. Silver Shine White Swarm is very good in a Collector world, yeah. Hella carry for later. Hood, uh, no abilities means the demon is potentially very big here. Sakar. Um, I mean, there's no disaster results. Silver Samurai would probably be my top pick. Hella carry's big. I lose a lot of collector upside, but I guess, I guess I get the upside kind of immediately, so maybe same difference, right? Crown City, huh? Yeah, let's rip this. I mean, we do prefer in some ways Silver Samurai, but we might get both. Yeah, we might get both, okay. They lost a sentry, so definitely uh, we had our suspicions already for Annihilus stuff when you see the hood, but I think we can kind of confirm that now. Uh, this will unfortunately hit Nico because we top decked Nico. What a terribly unfortunate top deck here. Uh, do we ever play the Nico now and just save the Silver Samurai and or... Oh no, it's going to destroy too. No, it's not worth it. Let's just get the samurai to remove cool stuff from their hand, Annihilus or something, who knows? Who knows what small thing is in there? It's Professor X, okay. <laughs> yeah, Green Goblin, sure. It's pretty good in a uh, Crown City location, that's definitely true. If I go stature to 11 right, I mean, there's no... <sighs> there's clearly no risk of um, Galactus, right? I'm just wondering, is like an 11 point lead here enough? They don't have a lot. I mean, they have two cards in hand. We know the sentry's gone. So there's no like Annihilus Void thing. I mean, this deck doesn't usually have that many threats. I, I honestly think the stature might be okay. We know there's no Professor X. So we don't really necessarily have to worry about like left. Any top deck I have, I can still play the Swarm. So there's no reason to play the Swarm right now. We can decide where that power needs to go after next turn. I'm just worried about them locking up Crown City if they do happen to have a second Goblin, so. We're committing the stature basically a turn early in order to prevent that. Now, if they can somehow beat the 11, it's going to be tough. Um, because, of course, we if we lose Crown City, I think we've got problems. I think Collector's just gone, right? I mean, I guess if they win Crown City, they win. I don't know. Do you have 10 or actually only 8? Goliath is not a threat. Maybe it's like a Shang-Chi? Oh, it really is just the Annihilus. Okay, we beat that fine, yeah. Wait, uh, am I insane? That just loses to literally the card that was already there, right? That's just a 100% loss. Maybe they were just playing it out for fun? I don't know, we, we, we would be at seven if I hadn't played anything. I added eight. We'd be at seven to six and 11 to three. I don't know. Oh, the hub into Doc Ock. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm fine with this. I don't know if we'll use it or not, but just uh, sometimes good discard bait, you know. Sif is safer now or something. Do we go Sif? Uh, maybe Moon Knight first. I kind of like the Moon Knight Silver Samurai curve. Just it gets, It's felt so disruptive to opponents. Oh, this would have been cool to get down, but I think it's too late. We could maybe go Corvus into like Morbius Moon Knight next turn, you know, since we'll have five. That's, <laughs> that's only if the Corvus leaves me what I need. I don't know. Let's see. This is a little greedy. Don't discard these two. Not these two. Discard Proxima and Doc Ock. Okay. Great start. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually a genius. Unbelievable. I'm actually insane. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't really care what gets discarded here, I guess. I could play a Moon Knight here, honestly. I don't mind if they get a Moon Knight because it feeds my Morbius and I have no cards that I care about, really. So maybe we just play it here. Spread our power out a little bit. I don't know what they're planning exactly, but uh, Sif is fine. That's good. Hope Summer is gone. Not getting played this turn, interestingly. Oh, magic, okay. Hope, magic, armor. I think still hard to say what exactly that's about. Uh, Snow Guard, do we want to bank until later in case maybe it buffs Collector? At this stage, I could actually turn off Limbo though, but if I show it, they know that. I mean, I guess that's not inherently a problem if they know that. Some people don't notice that it's a thing, so. Also could have some, some, some Oh my God, you idiot. Oh boy. 
<laughs> oh boy. Okay, well, that plan is gone. I also got collector immediately afterwards, so. <sighs> I... <laughs> I'm angry. Um. All right. I don't know, man. This is fine. We're going to get a random card in hand to buff collector. Opponent has a Loki, so. I mean. They might discard me, and then I just get a bunch of swarms, which buff my collector as well. Like, that's pretty cool. I have to show the collector here, but I don't want to overcommit him in the Morbius location, so I'm putting him right. Like, of course, locking yourself up early is a big risk. Oh, I forgot to hit in turn. But I'm hoping, you know, that since he has scalability, it might be okay. I don't know. No! Oh! oh my god. Imagine Hella Doc Ock, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Corvus, okay. They're losing a Hella Carrier, but no big buffs or anything. So there's a bunch of random stuff. I'm not as worried about a bunch of random stuff. Rhino gone. Um. I mean, is. Oh, this has got to be. Uh, three is like kind of safer, but I could hit a crazy Doc Ock play because if they like load this up anyway. Maybe Doc Ock is advantageous, right? Sif is also actually pretty good because it buffs the collector. Oh, they're just out. Okay. Nice, dude. This was an insane hit, honestly. An insane hit. How am I eight and two with this deck, by the way? What? What? Am I done? How are we eight and two? Uh, okay. Let's save the Snow Guard for post collector, I think, right? It's so easy to weave in. We don't necessarily need the stuff either morbius is more likely to win throne room i think i mean we're not a modok deck so he doesn't always get that big but he can get decent sized all right morbius plus snow guard probably here makes some sense to me yeah we'll get the um moon knight going soon proxima we have a lot of stuff in hand for this moon knight which kind of sucks so this order isn't ideal necessarily we could have maybe saved the snow guard for a moon knight weave in on this turn hmm. mr negative definitely gets better well i mean i don't know let's do corvus for now nothing here is unlosable right absolutely nothing here is unlosable we can lose everything and be fine Swarm is actually quite good, in fact. We need a way to get rid of this Proxima, though. Destroy your next card and draw two, huh? Plus one energy this turn? Doesn't really help the opponent if they're a negative deck, right? It's more likely to help us. Maybe I just draw the, destroy the Swarm, though. So I have more power. I don't think that hurts anything, right? I'm down to turn six though, man. I just don't really have a lot going on. Like the, the you know, discarding my opponent's stuff is not helpful here. Uh, Statures, good. Silver Samurai, well, not actually very good. No, we haven't discarded them. And Silver Samurai is coming in too late, I feel like. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, well, we lose. <laughs> uh, have fun. If they don't snap, we'll play it out. We'll let them have fun. We were playing this deck uh, literally what yesterday, so they may have even seen my YouTube video. It may not. It may just be regular negative. It may not be the Death Strike version, but the Death Strike version and all these cards. Well, I don't know. It could be. But we'll let them have some fun. Congratulations! I never once got Wong into Panther. By the way, on the Zola, it always went Panther Wong for me every single game. It was like for real, bro. They're fist bump. Nico plus two. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Sometimes leaving Nico in hand can be beneficial, but we have um, Proxima in here. It would be nice to hit off our um, discard. So, oh, good call, Regis. Um, I don't think Morbius gets bigger than a Hulk, to be honest. There's always some risk making Hulks because of Shang-Chi stuff, I'll obviously. I'll be honest, though, I haven't really seen a shang chi in a while i don't know if the meta kind of started working around him a little too much or what but i feel like it's actually been a minute since i've seen shang chi all right moon knight anything but silver samurai buddy anything but silver samurai 
Anything but Silver Samurai. Annihilus gone. Proxima's a big hit. Let's go. That's insane. So Annihilus decks, I don't know, man. Do they run Shang-Chi? I'm not sure. Silver Samurai with, with uh, Widow Spite's actually perfect, dude. <laughs> Playing right into my dreams. I don't think they usually do run Shang-Chi because they're more about like fitting in all the Sentry stuff and the Goblin stuff and the, you know. They may put a Sentry mid to try to catch up. Maybe it just goes left though to pass the Proxima. But with Annihilus gone, it's going to be so hard because you like Sentry's no good. Hood's no good. Like we just hit the biggest discard. That was a that was an actual insane Moon Knight, dude. Imagine that. Removing your opponent's best card, like their entire build around, and summoning nine power for free and turning it into a Hulk. Like what a dream scenario. Uh Yeah, I mean, I think there's maybe some risk of like a Galactus. So I could maybe just fill this up already so that we don't lose to like Hobgoblin. Oh, that's not Galactus. Cannonball. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, this ties. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. We're not losing to Galactus. We're not losing to. I mean, we lose to Shang Chi, I guess. They win a tiebreaker. They have Shang Chi. I don't know. I feel like we're in a decent spot, though. The helicarrier time might might come in clutch, I, I, but I, they got a lot of work to do though, man. I don't know. Where do you go from here? 11's big for these decks typically. Cannonball's probably their biggest threat, so yeah. Nice, big discards really, just insane hits. Silver Samurai was clutch too. I don't think the Selene mattered, but the, the Widow's Bite being gone is pretty funny. Okay, uh, yeah, I mean, we'll weave in a Nico. I don't care. Lady Sif currently really good with Proxima Midnight. Also good if we hit Helicarrier. Bad if we hit Stature. Only Stature really makes this bad. I guess Silver Samurai kind of does too. Morbius is not bad. We love Morbius. Oh, Samurai, no. No, what happened? Do I trust this? Maybe we'll hit Helicarrier anyway. It's fine. We just know. Oh, nice. Nice. Get wrecked, Star Lord. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is good. We can discard whatever this is. Oh! Goodness. Um, I don't need the Eliath, right? We don't think we need it. Oh. Maybe we do like it. Maybe we play Corvus Glaive. We just play it early. Uh, we want to hit Sif and Proxima here. Not Silver Samurai and Eliath, okay? Sif and Proxima. Not Silver Samurai. Ah! Uh, I mean, I can live with that. It's just not ideal. Uh, really sucks to hard play a Proxima here, man. But I think I need to. What did I discard of the opponent? I didn't even actually. Oh, nothing. It's Corvus Glaive. What am I saying? Uh, not a Moon Knight. I really, really want priority. In some ways, this is more power and kind of isolates me down to a Moon Knight Proxima as well. Cause this is still seven. If I'm gonna play like a Moon Knight, I mean, I don't really need to play Eliath. It's just about, Eliath is not a threat as long as I maintain priority. Um, I don't know, I think there's gonna be a big guardian here, but ultimately. Oh, just an Iron Lad. Oh, but it's a guardian, yes. Uh, a little bit of a buff on the Drax, <laughs> slightly larger. Strong Chi bait though now. Ah, okay, Collector's actually pretty nice. Yeah, let's uh, do Moon Knight and then Collector will go, or excuse me, Proxima will go right, which is 12 and 10. We're gonna be losing left for sure, but we're gonna be ahead mid and right. Uh, that said, I'm only gonna have one card to play here. So hopefully that lead is sufficient. I mean, we think, we think we're beating Elioth like this. Um but can they gain 12, right, is the thing. Snow Guard buffs Collector, uh, which is kind of nice. <sighs> can they be 12 and 12, or actually 14 and 12? I don't know. 12 seems hard without me playing anything in those spots, and they're like a Guardians deck. They can't rely on Eliath, we know. Their Jean Grey almost kind of threw them off here a little bit, because um, they like... You know, they got too locked into it themselves and weren't able to play towards their Eliath. Um, 
I, I have to imagine their hand had a line though where they like you know left a spot here on turn six for Eliath and then like we're still able to contest elsewhere but I don't know I guess we just early tempoed so hard it was maybe a challenge for them either way armor cute little armor in there it's so cute dude I love the cute little armor she's so cute monster island no interaction for us there Morbius we'll start with that's chill I guess we'll go moon knight pretty good targets in hand only stature's bad and we want the moon knight for the stature anyway so lead of valir we can start stacking that up yeah add a copy to hand would be nuts with stature but we're gonna have a different option of course hit that swarm hit that uh not stature he goes fine I suppose Sarah gone from the opponent. Oh, that feels good. Okay. Uh, yeah, Syphilid Helicarrier give us some random garbage, right? Sadly, we don't have a collector, but maybe just some good plays. I don't know. I like Stature flipping mid. Sif, of course, contesting right still with some medium sized stuff is cool. Ant Man and Luke Cage. Oh. Luke Cage, Hope, Ant-Man, and Armor. I don't know. Just feels like a mixed bag of Sarah stuff. I'm not sure yet. Sif again. We don't really think Mobius matters, right? Maybe something like this. Gambit's, uh, you know, risky, but... It's got, it's got a good hit. We got priority, so there's a, you know, 60% chance we hit a good target. And we don't mind the discard at all. In fact, it helps. Swarm could be amazing. We got Morbius anyway. Nothing crazy good in hand. <sighs> um, playing Maria after Gambit. I think I'm fine with that. I don't know. Is this rocket actually going to catch anything? No, nah, they've maybe just given up left. Come on. Hit uh, Luke, maybe? Ant-Man's big? I don't know. Swarm is an insane hit. Hope might disrupt their curve a little bit. Also just deleting some power, of course. Iron Man though. Oh boy. Uh right's gone. Okay. <laughs> we got to win mid. We got to win mid, guys. Dang, dude. That's not easy. Uh We going to see a Spectrum mid? I still can't win right even if we do. Uh I can't stop Spectrum mid, right? It adds 11 here. Actually 13. We're only up by 3, so I have to play a 10 power card mid, which I clearly don't have. I think I think we're just dead. Uh, we're just dead, man. Spectrum wins, I think. I think we I think we know, but nothing. We'll play it out to see, you know. But um, Iron Man just too big, too big. Yep. In a weird way, Hope might have been the worst target to hit. She wasn't an ongoing card. Um. Yeah, we just didn't have any, you know, any random, none of our random cards were big boys, you know, we needed a big boy. We would have had, the, we knew, we had the math, we had the math, we had the math, we had the knowledge, just not the math. Okay, random cards and we actually got a Moon Knight. That's crazy. Moon Knight in our deck and we got the Moon Knight, uh, which does potentially help stature. Oh, uh, Blade helps stature too, though, even better. That makes the Moon Knight feel a bit safer, doesn't it? Um, okay, Collector would have been cool before Triskelion, but we'll get a Collector down now. I definitely want to play Stature prior to Moon Knight. That's a risk I don't want to endure, so... We'll play Stature here. Same is true for Corvus Glaive. Actually, Orcus Forge is pretty sick. We miss a top deck, though, if I do it this turn. Maybe that's, maybe that's for a future turn. Uh, collector supported here by Snowguard, Helicarrier, Corvus Glaive. Uh, since the stature's already active, the Moon Knight does get some reduced value, I would say. So maybe we just do Corvus first. Actually, potentially makes, <laughs> makes Collector really big. Good hits are Proxima and Helicarrier, although Helicarrier is honestly getting kind of full already. So these Sentinels are kind of overkill, but, um, oh, I'm not getting Sentinels because of the Snow Guard. And Corvus hit both Snow Guard cards? That's actually insane. What a madman. 
Um, that hits Moon Knight or Kyer on her lowest power. That'll hit Blob. Uh, my favorite. Moon Knight Kyer has another angle. How big is Blob? Five, seven, not very big. Just thinking about how to properly handle all this. Uh, Sunspot can still scale there as needed, so... Just thinking about, like, can I hit a Proxima? Can I hit a Helicarrier? Can I discard something meaningful from the opponent? There's quite a few questions here. Captain Marvel? Okay, Kyera gone. I guess that's all right. Sunspot puts us up to, what, 13? But it's got a big card there, though. Holy crap, we'd have to pass to beat that She-Hulk, which does not seem doable. Next card becomes a demon. Doesn't really seem particularly relevant. Uh, we're at by seven and six, but I can make the collector a little bigger via two sentinels. We can add five here and seven here. Ah, uh, this doesn't feel very good, man. That She-Hulk was bigger than I wanted. Oh, they don't have it though. Okay. It's too much weirdness this game, I guess. It seemed like Elsa had a good chance there, but maybe just out of good options. Maybe they were trusting the Captain Marvel. Weird game. Randomness did kind of win. I don't know if I like this Moon Knight line in hindsight, but I wasn't expecting a monster threat. 